This children's python just laid a clutch of eggs. The first thing I do is gently remove her so I could collect the eggs and incubate them. She could incubate them, but I prefer to do it myself for two main reasons. When they become pregnant, they often stop eating. So after laying their eggs, they have lost a considerable amount of weight. And they typically won't start eating again until after the eggs hatch. But if I remove the eggs, it takes her out of egg protection mode and gets her living and eating normally again. And because I could precisely control the environment in my incubator, the chances for successfully hatching the eggs is much higher. This is what I do after she lays her eggs. So another clutch of eggs just dropped, and this time it's from one of my ball pythons. First, you want to mark the tops of all of the eggs. This allows you to return them to their upright position in case they roll during incubation. After marking the eggs, I'll put them in an egg box. I use a mixture of vermiculite and perlite for my egg box. I find that this mixture allows me to maintain a high level of humidity without the eggs getting overly wet and moldy. Then I cover the eggs with some plastic wrap to lock in that humidity, and then they're off to the incubator.